Guys, I've spent the last month and a half of my life huh? smashing my head into the computer, making a mod for Plants vs. Zombies, which reimagines the entire game into Minecraft. Okay, so the question I wanted to answer for this video is what would the game look like if you took every texture and sound from the original game and replaced it with a Minecraft counterpart? So to start answering the question, there's two things we gotta do. First, go into the files of the game and compile all of the original textures and then do the exact same thing and compile all of the original sounds. Okay, awesome. We done that. Yep, we got it. Cool. Okay, now for the fun part. Oh yeah! <laughs> So, we were gonna start off by changing the pea shooter, but it needs to be a Minecraft pea shooter. Now, some eagle-eyed gamers might realize that there's not actually a pea shooter in Minecraft. Problem. So, to counter this, I had the idea to go into Blockbench and make the pea shooter myself. Problem solved. This allowed me to save an image of the pea shooter that I had made to place it over the pea shooter texture at the perfect angle. Look at him go. He's so perfect. I didn't want to make the Minecraft pea shooter look too round because I feel like this would take away from the Minecrafty aspect of the game. I then did the same thing, turning the pea shooter grass into Minecraft grass. Then I changed the stem into some bamboo, and finally we had our first plant of the mod. <laughs> okay, so admittedly not my best work. The mouth is not lining up, and also there's a few textures that just haven't changed, so we'll need to change this. But at least we know now that it actually works, and we can actually mod these plants into the game. Now knowing that our texture changing modding is working, I got straight to work by changing some textures. I first changed the peas that the pea shooter shoots into slime balls because I thought that was a good fit. Next, I changed the currency of the game from sun to emerald because that's probably the only gosh dang thing that makes sense. And if the currency is emerald, well the sunflowers... <sighs> You know what they gotta be. So after grabbing a villager head from block bench, I, I chucked that bad boy on top of the sunflower head to turn the sunflower into a villager. And while I was at this, I also animated some facial expressions for the villagers to pull. Okay, with that all done, let's check out the game and my live reaction to all this. Minecraft PVZ villager update. <laughs> What is that? Oh, he looks so good. Oh, it's an emerald. Yes, he made his first emerald. Look at him go. They grow up so fast. Now again, admittedly, the villager wasn't supposed to look this cursed, but I actually did like how this turned out compared to the pea shooter. I promise you though that the rest of the game isn't going to look this bad. I promise you. I mean, it is, a, it is down to your own personal opinion, but the rest of the game will actually look good. The biggest texture that everyone is facing the entire time is the background because it's a, it's a, it's its own separate texture. So now it was my job to Minecraftify the entire lawn and the entire garden. So to start this process, what I did was take the Minecraft grass block texture and place this texture on top of every single tile where you can place a plant. It was quite tedious to fit all of these into place because for some reason each garden tile is not a perfect square. And by the end of this tedious process, I was using the opacity tool to see if I lined up all of the squares, and I finally had a Minecraft alone. Lucky for me, that only took two, two hours. I'm sure glad I'm spending my time wisely. Now it was time to finish off the rest of the texture. And this was actually a little bit easier because all I had to do was copy and paste some of the grass to make some space for a Minecraft house. Then I took a Minecraft road that I found online and just stretched that over the PVZ road, which fitted perfectly. And then I took the man behind the entire operation and put him in the corner, just watching us from a distance. Men we woo, we woo. Now the last thing I needed was the Minecraft house to defend from the zombies. So I popped into Minecraft, built the house myself, and started taking screenshots from certain angles that would fit into the map perfectly. I then took those screenshots, cut out the house, plopped the house into the map, took the little doggy and put him into the map too, because we gotta have a dog to defend as well. So, so guys, we, we did, did it. it. Quarter we of it. Wait, no. we made the PVZ map into Minecraft. Let's go. Yes. This was definitely the best texture so far, but let's not get ahead of ourselves and actually see what it looks like in game first there's the house there's our little doggy and oh there he is oh there he is the man so with all of this progress i think the best next step is actually changing the zombies into minecraft zombies to mention the tile system works perfectly on the minecraft tile so yes one for red frog zero for plants versus zombies now it was time to tackle the zombie situation. So I opened up Blockbench and grabbed the zombie model and did the exact same thing that I did with the pea shooter. Okay, here we go. Are the zombies working?
<laughs> okay, um, well, they look special in their own little special way, but, uh, we- this needs to change. One zombie fix later. Okay, there we go, he looks so much better. Oh, look at him go. He's heading towards my house, actually, I better- uh... Next in the mod, I wanted to change a lot of the HUD. For example, the money bar, where you collect all of your nice money. I used the Minecraft widget to put over the place where you actually have all of your seed packets. I thought that was a good fit. For the wave meter, to show you how far you are into the waves, I used the Minecraft boss bar, that was also a very good fit. I then changed the level progress font into some Minecraft font, and then changed a few of the logos to coincide with the Minecraft theme. And this is how all of that looked like in-game. Okay, a lot has changed already. We've changed the bar up here to the Minecraft widget bar. The Minecraft zombie, he's definitely seen better days. We also can't forget about the level progress bar down here. And also while I was changing things I forgot to mention, I also added a Minecraft cone for the cone texture, which looks pretty good. And yes, I did animate it so it breaks over time, which looks pretty good as well. Next up, we have the seed packets themselves. Now I wasn't 100 100% sure how to Minecraftify this seed packet other than adding an emerald instead of sun, but I ended up going with a design that uses the OG Minecraft like seed lo packet logo thing, you know the one, and I ended up blurring that and adding a little bit of Minecraft text that says pick a plant. Not too shabby, eh? Now in game, it actually did look pretty decent, especially when you actually pick the plant at the start of the menu. Looks all good. And I also cleaned up some textures and I finally made the slime balls render because before they weren't rendering for some reason, but now they are. But all in all, the mod so far looks pretty good and we're making some good Good progress. But if you think I'm stopping here and just modding day one, you'd be wrong. I'm modding all the plants, all the levels, and even the menu. Everything is gonna be Minecraft. <laughs> Up next was the shovel and the shovel bin, so I changed the shovel bin into a composter and I changed the shovel into, well, you guessed it, Warwick Davis. Look at his cheeky smile. Okay, you guys got me, it was an iron shovel, I know. I then moved on to mod the ice pea into the game using ice blocks and also modded the watermelon into the game using a Minecraft watermelon and using the actual watermelon plant ice. And I also went with a simple projectile, which was literally just the watermelon item. Then to make the game feel even more Minecrafty, I changed the font of all the ready set plant into Minecraft font. There definitely was a few roadblocks along the way because like for the cabbage pulp, there is no cabbage in Minecraft. So I could either use something else like a carrot or I could just use a modded cabbage. So I went with the second option and just found a Minecraft cabbage mod and used that cabbage instead. And for the basket where the cabbage pulp uses to throw his cabbages, I turned that into a composter. We we have <laughs> the shovel up here. Our rice peas, yeah, look at him go. Oh, look at the melon go, yeah. A lot of these plants were starting to take action because in game they actually look really cool and awesome. Next up was the potato mine and all I really had to do was stick the metal rod inside of a Minecraft potato. And when the mine explodes, it turns into a big potato. Now I wasn't really sure where to start with the lawnmower, but then I thought lawnmower have wheels and minecart have wheels, so this is a perfect fit. So I slapped Steve in the minecart and now we have a defense of Steve's in minecarts. I then changed the entire marigold plant into into a diamond ore because I decided that the actual in-game currency of plants vs zombies like the coins would be diamonds instead. And now it was time to start working on that menu screen. So I changed the sky into Minecraft sky. I then cut out this Minecraft forest for the actual background. Then I had to change the actual gravestone where you press start. And luckily for me, I found a Minecraft tombstone that kind of fit one for one. Now the buttons worked out perfectly because all I really had to do was take the Minecraft menu buttons like single player and slap them on the gravestone. Okay, okay, we have single player minigames, puzzle, and survival. It kind of works. It kind of, the gravestone kind of works. The ready set plant works at the start of the game, which also looks pretty cool. We also finally have our wall of defense of Steve's in Minecarts ready to pounce at any given moment too. Even though there is no cabbage in Minecraft, the cabbage pot here actually looks pretty good. Coins are no longer in the game now, but don't panic. Instead of coins, we got diamonds! <laughs> and the Mary Gold is literally now just a diamond ore as a plant. Yo, it's the potato mine! He's a potato! Explode! Finally, a weapon so strong you can take down anything in the world. The baked potato. So at this point of making the mod, I just wanted to get on my computer and crack on with making as many textures as I possibly could. So let's quickly go over some of the next things that I changed. So as you know, the coins in PVZ are now diamonds and the gems in PVZ, well, are now rubies that I just kind of made up. I then changed the hanging signs on the main menu screen to no, not Warwick Davis. Hanging signs. The achievement statue became some cobblestone. The dirt became dirt. I also retextured some of the fossil, like the skeleton horse, which I thought was pretty cool. I changed a few buttons and I also made the Almanac more Minecrafty. As you can see, we got a Minecraft main menu to the Almanac. And then when you go to look at the plants or the zombies, it's actually an inventory. Another texture 
that took up a lot of time was actually the Zen Garden because I didn't want to miss a single texture and I wanted to Minecraftify the entire thing. And this is what it looked like at the end. And I kind of feel like it has a little bit of an uncanny valley feel to it, maybe because of the skybox, but hey, at least it looks like Minecraft. I also made a texture for the nighttime garden. Then we got Crazy Dave's car keys, which is a trial key and a name tag connected together. The Zen Garden icon, which is now a water bucket. The almanac is an enchanted book. The two sunflower trophies are now villager trophies. The kernel pulp, instead of corn turning into butter, I decided to use wheat turning into bread. The blover is a sunflower. The cactus is a drumroll, please. It's, it's a it's cactus. Oh, Warwick Davis cactus. He's back again, baby. Warwick Davis strikes again. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I'm, so, I'm going to stop with the jokes now. He was a cactus. And to be fair, a good cactus of that because this cactus was actually my favorite Minecraft plant so far. It just looked so natural. Now, I wasn't sure if we should turn the spike wheat into mud or dirt. So I decided to go with dirt because that's a little bit more basic. And then I plopped some dripstone spikes on top of the spike wheat. He looks a little bit goofy, but we love him. And he, and he does fit on the Minecraft theme. So for the cherry bomb, I tried to uh, use some red concrete to recreate the cherry bomb. Don't know how well this is going to look, but it is worth a try. Okay. Okay, we got the hanging signs. Awesome, they're working. We got the Zen Garden, the Almanac, the shop. I've changed the texture of the entire advancement screen. So it's just you going down dirt, some diamonds there. Steve, skeleton horse. There we go. So this is what the Zen Garden looked like in game. And we had some tiny little plants growing, which was pretty cool. Diamond! Ah! Yep, there we go. So we have um, the inventory here. Same with the zombies. Okay. There we go. We got a nice cobblestone outline. We just need to change a lot of the textures for the other zombies too. We got the cactus. Kernel pult. So starting off with the kernel pult, he's just some grown wheat throwing wheat at the zombies. And occasionally he'll like to throw some bread. Yeah. Okay, what about the spike weed? Oh, that is definitely a sprite. <laughs> Again, he might be a little bit goofy, but he's definitely doing the job. Go, spike weed. Yeah. Bread. Yeah, let's go, baby. And here comes the cactus. Definitely my favorite Minecraft-looking plant so far. He just looks so goofy and cool, and he fits into this mod very well. Go, cherry bomb! Talking about Goofy, uh, the cherry bomb, not the best work either. But they're only a tiny part of this mod, so it's okay. <laughs> To start with the walnut, I wasn't sure which direction to go to because I really wanted to do the new potato block from the brand new Minecraft update, but then I thought obsidian is way more impenetrable, so let's go with obsidian instead. Now, as you guys will know, the walnut is one of the plants in the game that actually has an animation the more it gets eaten alive. So to make this part Minecrafty, I decided to use the destroy stage of when you break a block and put that over the obsidian. This was the Zen Garden Spray turned into a Minecraft potion. The cat tail was turned into a cat, obviously. Now, the chomper was a tricky one because there's nothing in Minecraft that resembles a chomper. Until I remembered the evoker oh. summons those jaw things that snap at you, and I thought, that's perfect for a chomper. I would be lying to you all if I said the coffee bean was hard to do. And I am lying to you because it was hard to do because there was an animation where you had to have the coffee bean sprinkle over the plant, and it took way too long. I thought it'd be easy because coffee bean is in Minecraft. <gasps> But it wasn't easy, it was actually really hard. Like, why was there so many frames? This should have been so easy. Now, we all knew who Crazy Dave had to be. Don't let me do the honors. Take it away, Crazy Dave. Who are you? <laughs> So in celebration of this, I turned Crazy Dave into Steve. What an awesome crossover. And when I loaded up the game, oh, oh, Steve. Oh, no, 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 Steve. We're gonna, I'm gonna fix you, buddy. Oh, much better, Steve. Guys, no one hurt his feelings. Don't say anything. You look lovely, Steve. Just to get away from Steve for five minutes, I decided to pop into the game and test our obsidian walnut. No, don't die, buddy. Stay with me. Don't, don't. You can't go now, Obsidian Walnut, no! This is what the Evoker Chomper looked like. I don't really know how I feel about this because it was, like, impossibly difficult to get everything right. But I did my best, and this is what he looked like in the end. So now we got the dynamic duo combo, the Evoker Chomper and the Obsidian Walnut. So not to bore you guys with literally every single texture that I modded into the game. I'll now point out some noteworthy things that I modded into the game, just so we can speed things up just a little bit. Okay, to start, the Doom Shroom that gives off the biggest explosion was turned into a creeper, of course. I also had to change the dirt, which was also very, very tedious. We got a brand new gem texture. Now for the fire that's in the game, I had to take the Minecraft fire animation, split it into individual frames, and then put that over every other flame animation in the game. The fire pea is now a fire charge, which I think is a perfect fit. 
The film shroom has been turned into a Minecraft mushroom block. I turned the garlic into beetroot. I Minecraftified all of the font textures in the game. The torchwood is still torchwood, but just with a different wood. Gatlin P is now a dispenser that has arrows poking out. The grave buster is now a gravestone. This one is definitely my favorite plant in the entire mod. I turned the hypno shroom into a normal red mushroom, but it just looks and works so good. I also did the exact same thing with the ice shroom and he just looks a little bit goofy, but it still works. The jalapeno got turned into, well, the jalapeno. The lily pad was really easy to do. All I really had to do was steal the lily pad's eyes. I'm so sorry, buddy. Now it was time to create the other levels because so far I only had the first day where it was just daytime. Luckily for me, the second level was really easy to create because all I had to do was take the first level, put a blue overlay on it to make it look nighttime, and then add a glow coming from the door just to make it look like it's light inside the house. The pool level was also fairly easy to make because all I really had to do was add an extra row of grass and then use quartz for the pool. Now the hardest level to recreate was the roof because all of the tiles were all over the place and mismatched so I had to put a brick texture on all of them at different sizes just so the tile system would actually work on the roof. The rest of the level was pretty easy and straightforward to make because all I had to do then was add a forest and the sky. Next up I made the title card. Yeah! Plants versus zombies. And then I rendered it in block bench and chuck that into the game. For the pot smashing mini game, decorative pots was a perfect fit. I turned all of the gravestones that spawn into the game into different variations of stone blocks. And then we had to tackle and try to change the menu screen where you press start. I first thought the best way to go about this was recreating the title screen like one for one with actual Minecraft zombies. But then I gave up and had a better idea. Why not just make it from scratch and make it like I make my thumbnails? So it does look really silly, really goofy, but I also found it very funny because all of the plants were just Minecraft skins of those plants. Which, you know, I think it adds its own silly and unique charm. So that's pretty cool. Let's go, baby! Whoa! Plants versus <laughs> zombies. Oh, man. Okay. I've made the new maps. For example, we got the dark pool map. Go, Colonel Paul. Throw the wheat. I don't know where to put the obsidian. And then we've got vase breaker, and I've turned all the vases into decorated pots. Bang, bang, bang. Speed run, baby. Diamonds! And there we go. Okay, so there's only a small portion of textures left to be changed. Then we'll finish up by changing all the sounds, and then hopefully we will have a PVZ Minecraft. You've just been creeped. Oh, yeah, that's the explosion texture. And you can't forget about potatoed. You know, when you get potatoed, I hate it when that happens. Gosh dang it. For my favorite mini game where you have to go gambling and pull from the slot machine, I made the slot machine texture into a hopper, which actually looked pretty epic. Yes, now I can pursue my favorite pastime hobby, gambling. Yeah, let's go. Woo! The zombie note is now actual Minecraft paper. The lantern was turned into a lantern. The portals that Dr. Zombos create are, you know, they're, they're portals. We got plant pots as plant pots, stars as nether, stars. The tall nut is two obsidian stacked up on top of each other. Who would have guessed? The tangled kelp was turned into uh, this monstrosity. Now, as I reached the end of the textures, we got to Dr. Zomboss's big final boss machine and I thought, what better way to have a final boss in PvZ than to make it the final boss of Minecraft? Yes! I also then got to the gargantua and thought the mutant zombie is a perfect fit for this. And after cleaning up all of the rest of the textures, and there were hundreds, there were so many, the visual side of the mod was finally complete. So let's have a little bit of a look. We did it! Every single plant here in the almanac has been finally turned into Minecraft. And all of the zombies have been changed too, even though we didn't cover all of it because there is actually so many textures. But uh, yeah. And Dr. Zomboss is, of course, Herobrine. I, I don't know what happened to his head. He looks like, he looks a bit squished. This is what some of the gameplay looks like. It is so chaotic with all of the new textures, but it actually just works, you know? It, it just works. A texture that I love that I haven't really mentioned is when the guy opens the jacker box, it's just a marketable plushie of a creeper. The American football guy is wearing diamond armor, which is quite a nice touch. And the squash is a pork chop, because why not? Even though PVZ has lots of sounds, this process should be pretty straightforward and easy to do. You know, all I really gotta do is delete the PVZ sound and then make the Minecraft sound. Yay! So the first sound I wanted to recreate was the sound when you pick up some sun. It goes like... That was, a, that was a good recreation, heck yeah. So I decided to recreate this sound using the Minecraft, like, ding XP sound. And I made it sound like this. The next sound I had to recreate was the pole vaulting sound, which sounded like this. So naturally, I recreated that sound into this sound. 
Ah, a true classic. Rain was turned into Minecraft Rain, of course. I recreated the Ready Set Plant sound effect, using, of course, the Minecraft Break Block sound effect when you mine stone. Those were probably the only noteworthy sounds that I changed, because everything else was literally just the Minecraft equivalent. Like, you have the PVZ zombie groan, and whoop, there it is, now it's the Minecraft zombie groan sound effect, and, and literally every sound was like that. So, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you... Plants vs. Zombies Minecraft Edition. Oh yeah, baby. Let's give it a whirl and take a look at some of the gameplay. Straight away when you press start, this happens. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. He's eating. He's gnawing away. Look at him go. So now when you pick up Emerald, it sounds like this. Ooh, okay. He made the zombie sound. He's making zombie sounds. It's working! I also did a mention that the shoot sound is the throw sound, and the hit sound is, well, the hit sound. Oh, they're shooting mini stars! Okay, scary. Oh, we got the alarm! We got the brand new siren! That sound right there is the zombie wave sound recreated with note blocks. Okay. Okay. Fire charges. Alright, RIP. Oh, let's go! We got a bundle! A bundle of joy. Obviously, a little arrow as well. It's pretty cool. Oh, Minecraft rubies! And now for the best part of the mod. Oh, is this... <coughs> yeah, take this wall out. Okay. <coughs> and no, this next part is not edited. He, he actually said this. I am Steve. <laughs> Go my wallet! Yeah! Hey, welcome to Steve's shop where he just has two chests selling us various mysterious stuff. Thanks, Steve. Well, the gargantua turned out pretty well. Just go done! No! Ah! The dance is so you might be able to hear, but the dancing zombies dance to stall. Pretty cool. Here's some gameplay of me on the pool level kicking butt. Look, you die zombies. Stinky zombies trying to get through my obsidian walnuts. <laughs> Stinky. And here's some gameplay of me on the roof. Nothing much happening. Tried to lock in. Forgot that you can't place uh, things without without pots. So uh, that's that's my bad. Now, guys, there's probably a bunch of features that I haven't covered on this video. So what I'm going to do is upload a full playthrough on my second channel. If you guys are interested, that will be in the link in the description down below. If you guys want to play this mod for yourself, you can grab it for one single dollar on the Patreon. Well, other than that, thank you so much for watching. If you guys want to see more of me uh, here on my socials on screen, make sure to follow them all. And yeah, thank you guys. You guys are the best. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.